Hello everybody, I'm Krasi. Some good news for us on 18th of June, Venus moves into Taurus as a morning star and she will be staying there until 13th of July. 13th of July, so almost one month, Venus will be finally in Taurus, which is very beautiful, especially after 30th of June. On the 30th of June, when the first lunar crescent for the next lunar month appears in Cancer, and we have with this very beautiful placement of Venus uh, in Taurus, we have nearly perfect um, situation on the sky uh, with Venus in Taurus, with Mars entering um, Aries, with Jupiter, and even Neptune in Pisces. Um, Saturn in Capricorn who have nearly perfect situation on the sky. So July, I will make, of course, uh, the usual separate video on July, but July seems to be much better than June. Really very comfortable, very harmonious with these beautiful placements. Now, uh, but let me tell you more about Venus, which enters, like I said, 18th of June and stays until 13th of July. Um, in Taurus, Venus enters as a morning star, a very beautiful, very, very beautiful manifestation uh, of Venus because, you know, she has her three appearances. We know her appearing as a morning star when we see her rising uh, early, early in the morning, shortly before the sun shows up, we can see Venus rising as a morning star. We know her shining as an evening star uh, when we see her after the sun sets shortly. After that, we see her on the uh, evening sky. We know her also as invisible. Uh, also, third appearance of Venus. All three beautiful, but very different, very charming in different, different ways. Now, when she will be uh, visible uh, and when she is entering Taurus as a morning uh, star, Certainly, this is again another very powerful position of Venus and very blessing and especially beautifully this will be felt by people who have Taurus ascendant or, or who are ruled in general by Venus, have very strong Venus, have Venus as Amutan, meaning Venus will be ruling them. What is the Amutan? This is the most powerful planet in your horoscope which is describing your personality the most. Amutan. Uh, like I think I mentioned this also previously, when an astrologer with um, experienced eye should be able to see you and say your Amutan is this or that planet, meaning this planet describes you the most, this fe the features of this planet should be seen uh, on your uh, appearance and, and, and also behaviors. So just briefly about this, so Venus and Taurus, and this will be really very good because this will bring uh, some, well, okay, I, I will have to say, Venus is not certain to have three years stay in one sign. She stays one month uh, nearly in Taurus, but still this is relief, this is opportunity because she will be <clears throat> in Taurus and in the very same moment, she will be making harmonious trying to Saturn, which means that instead of experiencing the, um, while well, challenging and limiting influences of Saturn, we will be experiencing them in a softer way because Saturn, you know, loves Venus. His heart is melting when he sees Venus. So she will be able to um, soften the heart influences of Saturn. And I know that this message is important because m almost every person on earth now experiences the uh, challenging limitations of Saturn, which is changing our lives from the moment he entered Capricorn, uh, end of January of 2020. So this is beautiful aspect, very helpful. Another thing is, um, of course, well, when, like, uh, just to come back to my first uh, thought, when Venus is ruling you, you will certainly feel very well. Let's say you have Taurus ascendant, Taurus midheaven, uh, uh, Scorpio ascendant, Scorpio midheaven, well, or you have moon in Taurus, or you have Venus uh, exalted, very f strong in your horoscope, you immediately feel very well from this. 
So what is she doing as a morning star? As a morning star, Venus is, um, if we look back in uh, Babylon, this is Inanna from Akkad, the divinity ruling Akkad of the ancient Babylon. Very powerful with uh, very uh, decent uh, nature. Inanna, you know, also later on, when you look at the Greeks, the Greek mythology, this was um, Athena Palace, divinity with male, uh, male characteristics, very wise, very decent, very dignified. Um, she would teach the, the kings how to win war and would, because she's so decent, would side in a wartime with the losing not with the winning party. So you see it is about um, blessing um, money, certainly. Um, it is about uh, just joy, luck. Uh, it is about, it is just a moment of opportunity this one month. Um, and especially I'm reminding you about this beautiful placement when all, almost all planets will be on their position. So now we see in July, we'll see, uh, we, we, we do see uh, a lot of um, well, well, these harmonies, and um, but you, you will see how July will be uh, more harmonious, uh, you know, because of this aspect and this uh, beautiful placement. So, this is just the good news I wanted to share with you. Of course, I will elaborate more on the whole situation on the sky when I'll be looking very soon in a couple of days on month of July when I'll be looking at all 12 ascendants. But just to tell you, we have beautiful one month of uh, Venus entering Taurus. Now you can imagine before 18th of June, how weak she is in Aries, fallen. Um, with this, we cannot really experience the full blessing of Inanna, which is uh, financially, romantically, if you want, uh, joy, friendships, everything will be a bit minimized while she's fallen. Venus is very, very important divinity. So this was my message for you. Hopefully brings you some <laughs> good uh, feelings. See you very soon.